Savari Cup everyone, I'm back in Phuket and it feels so so good to be back here. Today's video is gonna be about motorbike so I hope you are interested in it because I came back to Phuket and I met again my little baby here the Kawasaki Z800. If you watch my video I've done a lot of adventure with the Z800. I went all the way up to Chiang Mai and then back to Bangkok and then we did some nice motorbike tour with the Z800. You can check out all these videos from the previous months. But now as I bought the new Africa Twin I have this bike here in Phuket and to be honest I don't really use it. The past few days I had a lot of fun driving it again all around Phuket. It's amazing. It's oh, the, the sound, the power. It's, it's it's incredible. But during these days I was just thinking that it doesn't really make sense to keep two motorbikes now because to be honest one of them will always be there I will not be able to really use it and then they're pretty expensive to maintain you know the tires the service the oil all the time there is something that you have to fix something to improve and they're quite expensive these big bikes so yesterday I stopped by my friend Michel here in Rawai he has a rental motorbike shop he rents big bike here in Phuket and he told me you know I have a lot of business right now all my bikes are already out they're already rent out and I actually need motorbike to rent because I have demand but I don't actually have motorbikes right now so if you want you can give me your motorbike and I can just rent it out for you especially because you don't use it so I thought you know what why not I actually bought this motorbike from him so he was the previous owner of this bike so I decided that I will put this motorbike for rent so stick until the end of the video if you want to find out where you can rent my bike here in Phuket but today I will bring you to the Kawasaki in Phuket town because we need to do some service we need to replace some parts I really want to fix everything and make sure it's in a great condition and I will also bring you to some big bike shop in Phuket town and give you some valuable information if you're interested to buy a second-hand big bike here in Phuket so stick with me because if you're passionate about motorbikes I will give you a lot of information today so let's go now to Kawasaki in Phuket town here at the Kawasaki they're fixing the front fork and then I will do the service with changing the oil changing the filter it's gonna take a couple of hours let me show you the showroom here and then I will bring you to the shop where they sell secondhand bike so let's check this out first So the Kawasaki will be ready in a couple of hours. Let's walk around Phuket Town. I'll show you how it's Phuket Town and we'll also drive to the motorbike shop where, I, where I'll show you some motorbikes and some prices for secondhand big bike. Let's go.
man it's so good to be back in Phuket and this is crazy this wasn't here a few months ago they just built it right now it's so quickly maybe they just built it in a couple of months that's crazy Alright, I think the Kava should be ready by now. It's been like an hour and a half, two hours. So I'll walk back to the Kawasaki shop and then we'll drive to the secondhand big bike shop. Okay guys, here we make it to the big bike secondhand shop in Phuket Town. I'll put the location down below in the comments so you can check it out. Let's go inside and let's have a look what kind of bike they have. Alright guys, so here we are at the secondhand big bike shop. The owner, which is a very nice lady, very kind, very sweet, she's in Bangkok now for business, so only his dad is here. But she's sending me the price of the motorbike uh, via WhatsApp, so she's giving me all the information. But you have to know that this place, they continuously have bike and they sell it very quickly. So every month a lot of bike come and go, come and go very quickly. So, so the bike that are here, they might be gone in a couple of weeks and they might have new bikes as well. So this one is a CB650R, it's from 2018, very well maintained and it costs 219,000 baht. <laughs> This one is the MT09 from 2019 and it costs 269,000 baht. This Triumph Street Twin is from 2016 and it costs 245,000 baht. This Ninja ZX-10R is from 2015 and it costs 379,000 baht. This R6 is from 2018 and it costs 345,000 baht. This one is the CBR 1000 RR from 2015 and it costs 409,000 baht. Wow, it looks beautiful. Uh, this is the better? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is good, new. Those are some bikes they have some more inside and they have some more bikes coming soon as well so if you are around Phuket and you're interested to buy a secondhand big bike this is a great shop and they're very honest people so stop by and have a look it's time now to go back to Rawai and give my Kawasaki for rent let's go <laughs>
are. I bring the Kawasaki to Michelle. That's Michelle right there. That's his shop. He shows his bike here in Rawai. It's right in front of Boost. This cafe is very famous, Boost Cafe Restaurant. So you can find my Kawasaki right in front of it. Now, as I said, most of his bikes are already out. He has Ducati, Kawasaki, Honda. He has a lot of big bikes, but they're already all rent out. So now he has a T-Max, a small Ninja, uh, Honda CB right there. And then he's gonna have my Kawasaki. And he actually just bought a new Ducati Scrambler. Here it is, looks amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video if you want to rent my kawasaki you know where to find it michelle was shy he didn't really want to be on camera so that's why he didn't talk he's actually looking for a business partner as well to share his um, rental business so i'll put the link down below of the location of the rental in rawai thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye